In this video, we have a common situation. You might have a user that has their individual email address associated with their profile. And now what we want to do is we want to associate this individual's company email address and make that the primary email address for this profile. So we're going to walk you through doing that. And we're still going to keep the original Gmail address connected to this profile so that they can sign in with it, but they won't be getting their communications or notices to that email address. They'll be getting it to their company email. Okay. So let's show you how to do that. And to do that, we're going to scroll down right next to profile. We're going to click on the social sign on option. And it's right next to profile and it says social sign on. You're going to click on that link and then scroll back down and you will see your primary email address set right there. Okay. What we're going to do is we're actually going to click on the primary email button and that's going to take us to a screen that will allow us to update that primary email address. All right. Now, don't let this confuse you. All you need to do is put in the email address that you want to be your new primary email and click on save changes. All right. The fields underneath are if you wanted to change your password as well. You don't need to put those in to update your email address. Just put in your new email address that you would like to have be your primary email and click on the save changes button. Once you do that, you're going to get a message that looks like this. There is a pending change of your email address to the email address that you had before. And it's telling you, you have to go click the verification link. It's telling you, you have to go click the verification link in your inbox to complete the process. So what you're going to do is go to your inbox. You're going to look for that email, right? Verify your new email address. And you're going to click on the click here to confirm. All right. And once you do that, you will have switched your primary email address to your new professional email address that you just updated. All right. Now let's go back to our profile and we're going to see how we can reassociate our individual email. And it's important to do this because this will still allow you to log in using your Gmail login really quick without a username and password. But if you don't reattach your personal or individual email to this company account now, then if you tried to log back in with Gmail again, it would create a whole new user and you don't want to do that. So to avoid doing that, let's go back and click on the social sign on link again. And now we'll see again, our primary email address is now our company email address, but to reconnect our Gmail account or an email address that we have with Facebook or LinkedIn, it works pretty much the same way. Let's click on the connect Google button and Google will give you a list of all of your Google accounts that you have there. You can choose. We already have the ProRank LLC as the primary. So we're going to go back and reassociate that individual account that Usman had. What this will do is allow Usman to log in from Google with either account without creating a new user. If you log in with a different email address through the social sign-on feature, then what your primary email address is, what ends up happening is you create an additional user or a new user in ProRank Academy. And what this will do is allow you to log into the same ProRank profile to your same user profile, regardless of which email address is used. So no matter which email address Usman uses to log in now, he'll see his same profile, which will be the ProRank business solutions profile with the ProRank information on it now, as opposed to if he wouldn't have reconnected that Gmail account. And if he would have tried to log in through the social sign on with that Gmail account, he would have created a brand new user with a blank profile banner and zero pro bucks. All right. So this is the power of the social sign on feature. And this is how you can connect various email addresses to one profile that will let you sign in quickly using those social 
profile icons. So if you get Usman, let's just log out of ProRank Academy and let's use the social sign on feature to log in now to drive it all home. So now if Usman just clicks on the Google icon, he doesn't have to enter his username or password. He can come straight to Google. He could actually pick either profile because they're both associated, but if he uses his individual profile now, just to drive home the point of the example, he will be brought straight back to his ProRank Business Solutions profile. So that's the social sign-on feature. That's how we would update an individual email address and make it a business email. You could also do it in reverse, and we hope this video helps you. Thanks a lot.